right, Mr. Lobster. Let's take a look at that antenna. It's all right. This won't hurt. All done. Oh, thanks, Doc. Bye. Cheerio. Ah, my last patient of the day. Peso, come in, Peso. Captain, is something wrong? There's no time to explain. Head down to the launch bay now. <gasps> What's going on, Tweak? I don't know, but the captain sounds real worried. Here he comes. Peso, I've got a lot of hurt patients back here. Hurry. <gasps> There's more of them in here. Peso, we found them covered in rubbish. They need your help. Tweak, clear out your workshop. We'll need that space for an emergency room. You got it, Peso. Work, Peso. Your quick action has saved these pelicans' lives. Aye, but what happened to them? I've never seen a bunch of birds so bent out of shape. Ah, twas awful out there. The lads never knew what hit them. What was it, matey? Were you attacked by some kind of rubbish monster? Not now, Quasi. These pelicans need to rest. No, it's all right. Tis a tale that needs to be told. Oh, Charlie's the name, and this here's me fishing crew. We'd flown out to sea for our first fishing trip of the morning. And we'd just spotted a big school of little fishes for our breakfast. All right, lads, I told them. Prepare to plunge! That's how we pelicans go fishing, see? We dive in fast, then scoop the fish up in our pouches. But this time, we were tricked. Wasn't a school of fishes at all, but a big bunch of grimy sea junk. Luckily, Dashie and I happened to spot them as we were passing by in the guffs. I don't know what we would have done without your help. <laughs> but why was there so much junk in the water? When plastic gets thrown into the ocean, it sometimes drifts together in big, floating patches of rubbish. The plastic can be very dangerous to sea creatures who might eat it by mistake. Aye, and the rubbish patch that fooled us is still out there somewhere. Then we'd better clean it up. Quasi, sound the octo alert. Octonauts, to the launch bay. Already in the launch bay? Oh, uh, right. Octonauts, our mission is to clean up the rubbish patch that hurt these pelicans. Dashie, can you track it on the map? Already on it, Captain. That must be it. It's drifting over the octopod right now. Peso, you stay here and look after the pelicans. Everybody else, let's head to the surface. <laughs> Shiver me whiskers! Look at all that rubbish! With these nets, we'll have it cleaned up in no time. But, Captain, what do we do with the rubbish once we scoop it up? Don't worry about that, Dashie. We'll put the rubbish into this octobin. And then take it back to the octopod to recycle. Mm. Octonauts, let's do this. Octonauts, we're making good progress. I'd better see how things are going back at the octopod. Say, ah, uh, ah, uh, looks good. 
Peso, come in, Peso. How are your patients? Well, Captain, I'd say the pelicans are healing nicely. Excellent. Ooh. Peso, what's that noise? Hmm, looks like there's another patch of something heading your way. Hmm, more rubbish, maybe. Whatever it is, it's moving fast. Yeah. <laughs> Something's tickling me toes. <laughs> it's not more rubbish. Huh? It's a huge school of fish. Uh-oh. Whenever there's a school of fish this big, there's bound to be a, yeah. a feeding frenzy. <laughs> Attention, swordfish. There's rubbish in the water. It's not safe to eat here. <gasps> <laughs> In that case, we'd better hurry. <laughs> Whoa! Oh, we're surrounded. Captain, come in, Captain. What's going on there? We're caught in the middle of a whoa! Feeding frenzy! It's making the cleanup a little tricky, and we Captain! Captain! Oh no! I have to help them! Listen, Doc, we pelicans know a thing or two about feeding frenzies. The trick is to get in and out as fast as you can. But how? <laughs> what say ye, mateys? Ready to stretch your wings? Right. Ready. <laughs> They're coming from every direction. There's got to be a whoa, way out of here. Captain, jump on! Great timing, Peso. Octonauts, let's move out. <laughs> Don't look down. Don't look down. Thanks for the lift, Pelicans. Good to see you're feeling better. Now, why do you say we clean up the rest of this sea rubbish before someone gets hurt? Remember, mateys, in and out fast. Get ready, Octonauts. When the pelicans dive in, try to scoop up as much rubbish as you can. Prepare to plunge! of it, Captain. Ha! Huh. Good work, everyone. Hold on. Where's Peso? <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry. I'm a medic. I help any creature who's hurt or sick. Oh, thank you. We're good to go. Au revoir. That's funny. The swordfish are leaving. The feeding frenzy must be over. Flippity flippers! There he is! Are you all right in there, Peso? I'm fine, Captain. That was a close one. Thanks, old Charlie. No worry, Peso. Good work, everyone. Pelicans, we couldn't have done it without you. Aye, after everything you did for us, it was the least we could do. All right, mateys, who's up for a little fishing? Hooray! Good Goodbye! 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 Goodbye. 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 Prepare to plunge! <laughs> The 
This little reef is only a few years old, but it's already full of life. Aye, this reef is busy, even if it's not very big. Hey, it's big enough. Who said that? I'm right here. Show yourself. Oh, here I am. I'm a frogfish. Name's Anton. Wow, you look so much like the reef. I didn't see you there, matey. That is the idea. I'm camouflaged, which means I blend in with what's around me. It keeps me safe from bigger fish who want to eat me, like those sharks. Sharks? Everybody hide. Uh. Hmm, I thought I smelled food. Let's head to a bigger reef. See what I mean? <laughs> you fooled them, matey. Fascinating. These other fish can't blend in like the frogfish, but the reef has lots of places for them to hide. This reef keeps us and all our friends safe. It is our home, sweet home. Oh, look out! Oh. Sorry about that. We fixed the pedals, and now the gub F steering isn't working right. Aye, and as soon as you fix the steering, something else will break. I know. This is the first gub I ever built, so I can't give up on her. Maybe if I pedal a little faster. Yep, that's good. Whoa! No, that's bad. Ah. Tweak, Macy. Are you all right? Yep. But now I gotta fix the steering, the pedal, the rudder, the top, the bottom. Ah. Is there anything on the gup F that doesn't need fixing? The seats are still comfy. Oh! Captain, the storm tracker shows that there's a hurricane on the way. Octopod to Quasi, Shellington and Tweak. There's a hurricane heading your way. And it's moving fast. Take cover in the guts. There's not enough time to return to the Octopod. Aye, aye, Captain. We'll ride out the storm in the Gup Sea. Very good. Barnacles out. There's a hurricane about to hit, matey. Storm coming. Oh, everyone take cover. Wish I could say the same about the good path. <gasps> the reef. Oh. 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 Uh. Jumping jellyfish. There's nothing left. Where's Anton? Ahoy, matey. Glad I found you. Oh, I'm not. I mean, if I'm that easy to see, then I'm not camouflaged. How will I hide from the sharks? You can't hide either. Hmm. I see what you mean. Captain, the coral reef's been destroyed, and these fishies need a new place to live. We have to do something. Agreed. Dashy, sound the octo alert. Octonauts, to the launch bay. <laughs> Octonauts, the reef dwellers need our help. Their home was destroyed by the hurricane, and now they have no shelter or protection. Maybe we could move all the fish to another reef. There may not be enough time to move them before the second part of the hurricane hits. Second part? A hurricane starts with strong winds and waves that stir up the ocean. Then there's calm like it is now. But that's because we're in the quiet centre of the storm, known as the eye. After the eye passes, it's followed by winds and waves even stronger than the first ones. But the fishies will never survive that without a reef. Hmm. 
What if we build them a new reef? Ah, you're talking about making an artificial reef, Captain. But an artificial reef? An artificial reef can be made out of anything. A sunken ship or even an old train carriage. Algae, sponges, coral and plants attach themselves to it. And that attracts fish who make it their home. But what could we use to make an artificial reef? Well, the truth is that the Gulf F isn't much of a gulf anymore. <laughs> but I reckon it'd make a great artificial reef. Super, super! Great idea, Tweak. But we'll have to work fast. The first step. We should cover the Gup F with algae and coral, Captain. Using lots of sticky limpet glue. Octonauts, let's do this. <laughs> Spawn. Much better. <sighs> well, what do you think? Oh, it has plenty of places for me to blend in. And plenty of hiding places for the rest of us. I say, let's move in. Uh, uh, hold on, everybody. Don't touch anything yet. The sticky limpet glue still needs time to dry. Captain, the second half of the storm is coming in quicker than we thought. And it's going to be big. Cap, the glue hasn't hardened. Everything we've put on will get washed away. Oh, no. If you get washed away. I'm scared. Oh, no, it's a tragedy. This is a disaster. Don't worry, me hearties. We Octonauts always have a backup plan. Anybody got a backup plan? Ugh. It's a shame the artificial reef doesn't have a helmet like we do. Hmm. Maybe we can give it one. Hatch seal. Okay, Tweak, lower the tow line. Now take it away, Tweak. You got it, Cap. Easy now. And down. Oh, wonderful. So much. The dome will protect the reef cap, but if it takes a direct hit, I can't guarantee it'll hold. Dashi, can you give me the exact direction the hurricane will hit from? Sending it to you right now, Captain. Octonauts, we'll line up the guffs A, B, D, and E and form a wall to stop the hurricane from hitting the reef too hard. And I'll use the guff C to try and keep the dome steady. Stay close together, everyone. Hurricane force current will hit in five, four, three, two, one. Brace yourselves. For frogfish like me. And for us, too. we love it. It's great. Yeah, for all of us. Well, Quasi, I admit that the gut bath was never the fanciest gut, but I'm proud to say that it sure is the homiest gut. This is oh, wonderful in here. Oh, I am no longer so Fergal of the Sharky. 
Look at this video coming in from Dashi. She's in a kelp forest, and as you can see, there's quite a bit of kelp. Makes me hungry for a big bowl of me grandfather's pirate stew. Huh? Kelp is the main ingredient. Oh, oh, oh! Is everything all right out there? The currents here are getting stronger, Captain, so the water's getting rougher. Then you and Dashy should head back to the octopod. Yes, Captain. I'll just investigate one more piece of kelp and look for baby snails before we go. And I'll just take one more video. All right, boys. Someone's heading in our direction. You know what to do. Right, Dad. Ready, steady, blend. That's great. Kelp leaves have such beautiful shapes. Well done, boys. You blended in perfectly. No, oh, it was nothing, really. Just doing what you taught us to do. A leafy sea dragon never swims away from danger. No, certainly not. In fact, we can't swim at all. So what do we leafy sea dragons do better than anyone else? Blend in. And that's how we stay safe. Oh. The water's getting a bit rough, Dad. Ah, oh, but the rougher the water, the calmer the leafy sea dragon. These currents are so strong, they're breaking off pieces of kelp. The gum is getting covered with it. We'd better hurry. Steady, boys. Remember, a leafy sea dragon never gives up. Dad! Oh, no! Dad! Remember, when the going gets tough, the leafy sea dragon just uh, goes with it. Uh... Dad! Just keep calm and blend in! <laughs> well done, you're blending in perfectly, boys. But, Dad, what about you? Don't worry about me, I'll be just fine! Back to the octopod. Remember, keep calm uh, and blend in. <laughs> Looks like you dragged home the whole kelp forest. I need a picture of this before we clean it up. Tweak, say seaweed. Seaweed? <laughs> Where are we? I don't know. Clean up time. Can anyone put this kelp to good use? Well, Cap, I could use some of it to make kelp grease. Nothing cleans an engine faster. <gasps> Lean to the side. I'll take some to study in the lab. The other side! I'll put some of it in the sick bay tank so my patients will feel more at home. And I've got the best use of all for this mess of kelp mateys. Pirate stew! We've been captured by a pirate. <laughs> Ahoy, mateys! I'm about to cook up some pirate stew! <laughs> now, watch and learn how to cook like a pirate! <laughs> Duck! Chop! a bit of kelp back with us, Professor. Ah. Hmm. I think you may have brought something other than kelp back as well. Dashie, can you zoom in? Zooming in, Professor. <gasps> Leafy sea dragons. I completely missed them. Leafy sea dragons are easy to miss. They're small and they're experts at camouflage. If they were stuck to the gut, then they must be in the octopod. But where? We'll search for them right away. And since these little leafy sea dragons look exactly like kelp... We'll need these octagoggles set to camouflage mode. We'll be able to see any living creature, even if it blends in perfectly with its surroundings. Shellington, you check the lab. Dashie, you take the sickbay. 
Tweak and I will search the launch bay. Octonauts, let's do this. Did you see them? Nothing but plain old kelp in here. Hmm, no sign of them here. The leafy sea dragons aren't here either. Let's see, who else took some of that kelp? <gasps> Quasi! Quasi, stop that stew! Quasi! Shoot! Octonauts, to the kitchen! Jump! Say, Captain? Stop that stew! Those are leafy sea dragons, not kelp. What? Where? In your paw. Shiver me whiskers. Do your worst, pirate. But, but don't hurt us. I'm not gonna hurt you, mateys. I thought you were kelp. But you're a pirate. I'm also an octonaut. And octonauts help little critters like you. I think you'd just like to go back home. Yes, but we need to find our dad first. A strong current of water carried him away. Quasi, sound the octo alert. Octonauts to the launch bay. Octonauts, our mission is to help these leafy sea dragons find their dad now. Where did you last see him? Where we live, at the edge of the kelp forest. We were caught in a current of water going towards your ship. And Dad was caught in a current of water going in a different direction. This is the current that the Gup E followed back to the octopod. So the Dad must be trapped in this one, and it's taking him out to the open sea. A leafy sea dragon can't survive out there. There's no place to hide. Captain, we've got to go after him, and fast. Quasi, Peso, Leafy Sea Dragons, into the guppe! A Leafy Sea Dragon can be tough to spot, so remember, set your Octo Goggles to camouflage mode. I hope we're not too late to find Dad. Kelp? Kelp? More kelp? Nah, there's no sign of him anywhere. Wait, that piece of kelp looks like... Dad! Oh no, he's getting away from us! Don't worry, we'll swim out and... Was he? Oh, get him, Captain! Boys, oh, we've all had quite an adventure. Now you can all get a little rest. <laughs> and some food. We're hungry, Dad. All right, boys, let's show these octonauts how we sea dragons eat. You see, we carefully sip sea water and find tiny bits of food in it. One, two, three, sip! Mmm, <laughs> delicious. <laughs> Better than pirates do. <laughs> yeah, sure is. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> we have.
have some amazing photos of Antarctic sea life, thanks to the new cameras on the gaps, Captain. Excellent, Dashi. And who knows what else we might find today? Monsters in the ocean! Swim for your lives! Monsters? Three of them at least! The one I saw was just a giant head with teeth! The one I saw was a giant squirmy sea serpent! The one I saw, I couldn't even see the whole thing! That's how huge it was! And where exactly did you spy these hideous creatures of the deep? Close by! Gotta keep moving! We don't want to run into those monsters again! <laughs> Monsters. Peso, Quasi, let's investigate. All right, everyone, keep your eyes peeled and make sure your gup cams are turned off. I just saw what appears to be a big-headed monster, exactly like the one described by the first dolphin. <gasps> I just saw the sea serpent monster the other dolphin saw. Ah, just me luck. I haven't seen hide enough fin of anything monstrous. But I do now. It's the big one, mateys, and she's coming right at me. <laughs> Quasi! <sighs> Shiver me whiskers. Let's see what the photos from the gub cans can tell us. That's the monster I saw. Yes, and that's the one I saw. And that big whatever it is is the third monster. Hmm, I'm not so sure there were three monsters. Let me try something. <laughs> It's a crocodile. It's a saltwater crocodile. The world's largest crocodile. It's as big as a bus. And it's a long way from home. Saltwater crocodiles normally live in places like Australia. That's over a thousand miles away. Hmm. It's not unusual for saltwater crocodiles to travel far out to sea looking for food. But I've never heard of one spotted in the Antarctic Ocean. Oh no, he must be lost and freezing. Saltwater crocodiles are reptiles. They stay healthy by moving to different places when they need to warm up or cool down. If they get too hot, they move to a cooler place. And if they get too cold, they move to a warmer place. But here in the Antarctic, there's no place he can go to warm up. He won't be able to survive this extreme cold for long. Dashy, sound the octo alert. Octonauts to the launch bay. Octonauts, we have a saltwater crocodile who is lost and in danger from the icy cold water. Our mission is to find him and take him home. Quasi, peso, to the guts. Remember, Octonauts, this is a huge creature we're looking for. If it feels threatened or scared, it may attack us. Aye, and the way it nearly swatted me gut, that tail could crush us like a tin can. It would more likely chomp you with its massive jaws and teeth. Keep a sharp lookout, me hearties. That croc could be lurking anywhere. Below us, behind us, or above us. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> And he might be injured. Let's take a closer look. He's not moving. He doesn't seem to be breathing. I've got to find out what's wrong. We'll back you up, Peso. Shellington, stand by to assist. He's got a heartbeat, but very soft and slow. Shellington, any idea what's going on with him? Yes, Captain. When saltwater crocodiles get very cold, their bodies can slow down and go into a kind of sleep where they don't need to eat or breathe air for a long time. So, he'll be fine. <laughs> After he wakes up, he'll head home. The saltwater crocodile might not know his way home, Quasi, and he may not be able to wake up at all because of the extreme cold. We need to get him back to the octopod and warm him up. But he's too big to fit through the octahatch. I wasn't thinking of bringing him inside the octopod. 
Octonauts, prepare to warm up a saltwater crocodile. The croc's attached to the octopod cap. He's as snug as a bug. A really big bug. And this will tell us how he's doing. Good. Peso, stay with him. Everyone else, back to the ship. Dashing, raise the temperature of the octopod as hot as you can get it. Hot. And set a course for the saltwater crocodile's home in Australia. Captain's working. The crocodile's body temperature is warming up. He's not the only one. It's as hot as the Amazon jungle in here. He's breathing again. It means the crocodile is warming up. But now that he's breathed out, the croc is going to need to breathe in. And he breathes air, not water. Which means we need to get him up to the surface fast. Dashy, activate steering wheel. <laughs> patient doing, Peso? He seems fine. Let me get a bit closer. <laughs> he just tried to chomp me. Don't worry, Peso. Saltwater crocodiles slap their mouths open and shut when they get too hot. It helps them cool off. <laughs> oh, uh, he may start thrashing about as well. Now you tell me. because it's too hot, then cooling him off should calm him down. Dashy, lower the octopod temperature. Cold as you can get it. I'm on it, Captain. <laughs> the cooling plan is working, Captain. The croc is going back to sleep. Octonauts, it's time to enjoy some chilly indoor temperatures. <laughs> Thick warm, warm sunlight on a tropical pirate's cove. We just need to keep the octopod cold a bit longer. Once we reach warmer waters, we can return to normal temperature and let the croc wake up naturally. This is an ice way to travel, eh, Quasi? Australia, Captain. The croc's home is just a few miles ahead. Captain, the saltwater crocodile is moving a bit. I think he's waking up. Dashy, you can return the octopod temperature back to normal. We'll leave the octopod here and use the gups to tow the croc the rest of the way. All right, octonauts, let's bring this big fella home. Boy, what's all this? What do you think you're doing? Oh, and easy, we're friends. Here to help. Help? Then why am I tied up? Looks like you're trying to capture me. Nobody captures a salty. <laughs> Octonauts, abandon guts. You can tie me up, but come any closer and I'll chop you down. Please, let us explain how you got here. We found you in the Antarctic. You were lost. And freezing. And so we brought you back here to your home. Yeah, I do remember being lost. Big icebergs everywhere I turned. So cold I couldn't stay awake. Guess you really did help me out. We help all the creatures of the ocean. We're the Octonauts. Pleased to meet you. You can call me Salty. Well, Salty, you have a bruise on your snout. May I bandage it for you? Yeah, go on. And no chomping, please. No chomping. <laughs> there. Thanks for all your help, fellas. We all need a helping paw now and then, Salty. Even crocs and pirates. Whew. That sun sure is getting hot. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry about that, Taya. Uh, didn't mean to scare you, but, uh, you know, I'm awful hungry all of a sudden. Uh, you should probably leave now, mates. You don't have to tell us twice. Goodbye. <laughs> Come in, Quasi. 
Have you collected those seaweed samples? Aye, Captain. And I'm heading back to the octopod right now. Huh? Shiver. Whiskers. I thought I was a hotshot pilot, but these little fishies put me to shame. Octonauts, can you see this? They're sardines, Quasi. Sardines always travel together in a school. But how do they all stay together? The scales on sardines' skin help them feel when other sardines are near them. That's how they stay together when they move. Yeah, a triple curly cue with a half bike squiggle. I've got to try that. Quasi out. Now I'm going to show these little fishies some moves of my own. Ha-ha! <laughs> Get a load of that! A super fast flip turn with a backwards loop? Not bad. <laughs> hey, I top that! You're on! Backwards roll over with, with a, a one and a half inward split! <laughs> you swim almost as well as a sardine. You're not too shabby yourself for a little flipper flapper. The name's Dina. Quasi. Maybe we'll have a rematch someday. You're on. Well, better get back to my school before they. Uh oh. Did you lose your school? Well, I'll be glad to help you find them. No thanks. I'm sure they didn't go too far. Bye, Quasi. Bye, Dina. Be careful, matey. Mmm, lunch is served. Ugh! Not so fast, ye scurvy shark! Oh, no, lunch is cancelled. Oh, thanks, Quasi. I guess it's not so safe out here without my school. They say there's safety in numbers. True. That's why we sardines always travel in large schools. Then, when a fish who wants to eat us shows up, we swim in lots of different directions so it doesn't know who to follow. Clever. There's only one of me, but I'd be happy to take you safely to your school. That's very nice of you. Boss, there they are now. I know a shortcut through this old shipwreck. What happened? I'm caught in this old fishnet. Are you hurt, Quasi? Nah, I just bumped my head. Don't you worry, I'll get myself out of this mess. Yeah, <laughs> stuck. Maybe I could chew through the ropes. No, Dina, you go on ahead or you'll lose your school again. Nope. You didn't abandon me when I needed help. I'm staying here with you till I know you're okay. You're a brave lass, Dina, and a good friend. I'd better call the octopod. What's wrong, Quasi? Well, I hit me head, the gup is trapped, and a little sardine is in danger cos she lost her school. Other than that, everything's fine. Hiya! Sounds like you need a hand. Dashy, sound the octo alert. Aye, aye, Captain. Octonauts, to the launch bay. Octonauts, we've got an emergency rescue, first aid, lost sardine situation. Uh -huh. Oh, I'll explain on the way. Tweak into the gup D. Peso into the gup E. Okay, right yeah. oh, Captain. Dashy, open the octo hatch. I'm on it, Captain. Your school is here. Hi, you could call them that. How's your head, Quasi? Do you feel dizzy? Sleepy? How many fingers am I holding up? That's a trick question. You don't have any fingers. Great. You don't seem hurt, but I'm still going to check you over as soon as I can get in there. That's where I come. Thanks, everybody. But where are my manners? Octonauts, meet my new friend, Dina. 
Dina, Octonauts. Hi, everybody. Uh, sorry if I caused any trouble. Nonsense. The Octonauts are always happy to help. Quasi, which way was the sardine school heading? They went that way, but they could be anywhere by now. Barnacles to Shellington. We've lost track of the sardines. Is there anything that could help us find them again? Yes, Captain. I believe we can find the sardines by listening for their burping sound. Sardines burp? Actually, yes. Sardines and many other fish swallow air to help them stay afloat. But when they want to sink lower, they burp the air out again. Captain, you should be able to pick up the burping sound on the Gup's underwater microphone. Now, just listen and be very quiet. I don't suppose the sardines are taking a nap? No, that's just an elephant seal snoring. What's that, Shillington? That's just a crab clicking its claws. <coughs> ah, burping. Dashy, can you tell us where it's coming from? I'm on it, Captain. Straight ahead, near a coral reef. Then that's where we're heading. Barnacles out. Dina, we may have found your school. That's good news. Best be on your way, Dina. But I don't want to leave you here, Quasi. I'll be fine. I'm with my school, remember? And you need to be with yours. Go on now. Thanks, Quasi, for all your help. Anytime. Stay safe out there. Just follow me, Dina. The burping is getting louder. We must be getting close. Don't tell me seahorses burp too, Shellington. Actually, lots of fish do, Captain. We must have picked up seahorse burps instead of sardine burps. What if my school is so far away we never find them? Captain, the burps you hear now are coming from somewhere above you. This could be your school, Dina. Let's go. Must be very close now. My school! I can feel them with the scales on my skin! There they are! Whoops! Almost forgot to say thank you! And please thank Quasi for me. Don't mention it, Dina. Helping sea creatures is what we do. Bye, Dina. I'll let Quasi know you're all right. There you go, Quaz. You're free. Come in, Quasi. We found Dina's school and she's safe and sound. That's happy news indeed, Captain. Everything looks good here. See you back at the Octopod. Mmm, breakfast, lunch and dinner is served. That shark looks hungry for sardines. I've got to help them. Uh, um. Hmm, they're swimming in different directions to confuse the shark. Uh oh, more sharks. Looks like the sardines could use some backup. Calling all gups, sardines in trouble. <laughs> Octonauts, I don't know if I can hold them off by myself for much longer. You won't need to, Captain. Octonauts, follow the sardines' lead. Swirl and confuse. Over here. Uh, this way. Uh, Catch uh, me if you can. That way. Breakfast, lunch, and dinner cancelled. Hooray! Hooray! Quasi, I'm so glad you're okay. And I'm glad you're okay. I guess we both needed our schools to help us. Excuse me. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Look at these pictures coming in from Dashy. 
Where is she, Captain? She's exploring a strange underwater cave. There's some amazing stuff in here. Let's run these pictures through the computer to get a good look at the whole cave. Uh, it looks like there's squid and some tropical seaweed. The cave floor's red and wiggly. Those little rocks hanging down look kind of familiar. That's because they're teeth. And the floor is a tongue. How can a cave have teeth and a tongue? Because it's not a cave, Peso. It's a whale, whale shark. shark. Dashi! Can you hear me? Loud and clear, sort of. You're not in a cave. You're in a whale shark. Get out, now. Uh-oh, closing time. My camera. Dashie, can you hear me? I'm all right, Captain. I'm... The signal can't reach her now that the mouth is shut. She's trapped inside a whale shark. <laughs> we need to get her out. Peso, sound the octo alert. Octonauts, to the launch bay. Octonauts, this is a whale shark. No, Tunip, a whale shark isn't a whale. It's the biggest fish in the sea. As big as a school bus. It's so big that Dashi thought its mouth was a cave, and now she's disappeared inside it. How dare that dastardly beast swallow our mate! I'm certain he didn't do it on purpose, Quasi. The whale shark is a filter feeder. A filter feeder doesn't use his teeth for biting. He just opens his mouth and swallows whatever's there. And this whale shark swallowed Dashi. <sighs> we have to get her out. Then you'll need to take this whale shark detector. It flashes when a whale shark's near. Quasi, Peso, into the gut. Week, open the octa hatch. Got it, Cap. That's strange. According to the map, the whale shark was right here, but I don't see him anywhere. Probably planning a sneak attack. The whale shark detector hasn't flashed once. We'd better get out and take a look around. Peso, you stay here and keep a lookout. Righto. Quasi, when we find the whale shark, here's our plan. We'll need to open its mouth to slip in and get dashy. But first, I'll confuse the beast by leaping all around like a heap of spaghetti. Meanwhile, I'll slither through your spaghetti. Captain Quasi! <gasps> Captain, behind you! It's the... <laughs> whale shark! You never got to leap around like spaghetti, did you? No, I got sucked in like a wet noodle. Dashy! Dashy! Let's look for her by going that way along the tongue. Charge! <laughs> oh! The tongue is kind of ticklish. We better step lightly. Tiptoe. This looks like where we came in. So let's go back the other way. Slide. <laughs> These things keep you from falling onto your bum, eh, Captain? They're gills. The whale shark uses them to let water back out while keeping food in. You think Dashy could have gone out through the gills? Nope. She's too big. This wall feels all spongy-like. 
The sponge wall is another way the whale shark can let water out while keeping big stuff in. Looks like it kept Dashie's hair clipping. But Dashie must have squeezed her way through. She's on the other side. There's no time to lose. Let's suck in our bellies <gasps> and squeeze. <laughs> Quasi, Captain, can anybody hear me? <laughs> I guess not. <gasps> Don't roar at me. That's not a roar. That's a moan. You must be sick. When a sea creature's sick, I'm there. Even if he is as big as a school bus. Everything looks fine in the ear. Nose looks good too. Now I'll check your tummy. His tummy hurts. Poor whale shark. My friends must be in there. That must not feel too good. You usually only eat small things. I've worked out your problem, whale shark. You don't have measles or chicken pox. You have octonauts. <laughs> We seem to have landed somewhere. Is that you making that clicking sound? I thought it was you making the clicking sound. Well, if it's not you and it's not me, then who or what is making the clicking sound? Whoa! <laughs> hey, guys. It's great to see you. Um... Dashy, we've found you. And you seem to be all right. I'm having the most incredible time taking what just might be the first photos ever taken inside a whale shark's stomach. I hate to interrupt your photo shoot, but if this is the whale shark's stomach, we need to get out now before we sink any further. Octonauts, let's get up and out. Totem pole. <laughs> <laughs> We've made it, all the way back to the mouth. The beast's mighty jaws are shut tight. Activate helmets. Stand back. <laughs> oh. Your arms are powerful, Captain, but my legs are poetry in motion. Stand aside. Cat coming through. <laughs> this might take all of us working together. Say, ah. Uh... Mm. Why won't you open your mouth? Mm -mm. You're a filter feeder. That's what you do. Whale shark. Tummy ache. If you tickle a whale shark's gills, he opens his mouth. <laughs> If we all charge and push together, we can do this. Ready? Ready! Goochie, goochie, go! On your marks. A goochie, 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 go! Get set! Goochie, go! Go! Hey, so! I got the whale shark to say, ah. You freed us! And you're the whale shark's tummy ache? Ah, cute little beast. Ooh, not so little. <laughs> I can't decide which of these photos I took to send into National Geographic. They're all amazing. You must send each and every one. Actually, not all of them. Ooh, you might want to skip a few. <laughs> I think that means
means go. <laughs> Captain Barnacle to Octopod. Octopod here. Go ahead, Cap. Tweak, Peso. Our trip to the beach is in a bit of trouble. What kind of trouble? A completely stuck kind of trouble. In fact, I don't think we're going to make it home. <gasps> in time for dinner. <sighs> Captain, Quasi, where are you? Stuck in a rock pool. We were so busy exploring that when the tide went out, it left us in. We'll just have to make the best of it. Ow! Did anyone bring a beach ball? All kinds of creatures get stranded in rock pools until the tide comes back in to free them. Look at this beautiful shell. We'll have to wait here for an hour until the tide brings the water back in again. Peso, you're in charge until we get back. Me? Right-o, Captain. I need you to keep a watch on things until we get back to the octopod. I'll, I'll do my best to keep everything under control here. You can do it, Peso. Barnacle's out. Sorry, we'll play again later. Right now, I have to get to HQ. It looks nice and calm out there. That's good. Let's check the radar, Tweak. I don't see anything unusual on the radar. Hmm. That's good. Let's listen for any unusual sounds coming from outside the octopod. No unusual sounds out there. That's good. That's not good. It sounds like a, a creature who needs help. We, we've got to do something, Tweak. We've got to, to... Sound the octo alert? Octonauts, to the launch bay. Octonauts, I've got to find whatever's making that noise. Don't forget to use the camera on the gup. Yes, so we can see what you see out there. Remember now, we're right here, ready to help you. Um, Peso. Oh, right, okay. <clears throat> Open the Octo hatch, please. You got it, Peso. <laughs> well, Professor, Peso may be a little shaky, but he's doing fine. Yes, Peso's never too frightened to help. Once he's learned that something might be in danger, nothing stops him. <gasps> it has to be nearby. I hear it, but I don't see anything. Righto. Whoa! Oh, Flappity Flippers, what's that? <laughs> hmm, I believe it's a hermit crab. Not dangerous, but very unhappy at the moment. Right, time for a checkup. Hello, my name is Peso. I'm an octonaut and a medic. Can you tell me your name, please? Oh. Get me out. OK, Mr. Get me out. Oh. Now, this won't hurt a bit. Oh, my name's not Get me out. I want you to get me out of this shell. I'm... Oh, stop! Oh. Ah! 
Ow! Oh, it's no use. Here, maybe I can pull you out. No! Oh, ow, that hurts! Sorry. Oh, I told you it was no use. Don't worry, we'll get you out of that shell somehow. I know someone who can help us. What do you think, Tweak? I'll cut open a shell with my Octo Slicer, and he'll be free easy as pie. Uh, here, uh, now what are you doing? We're going to remove the shell for you. We'll just cut it open and... Stop! Please stop! Oh, hello. Stop? Why? Listen, I'm almost too big for the shell I'm in. I need a new one, and that shell is just right, just right! It may be too small for him, but it's a perfect size for me. He's not the only hermit crab around here, you know. <laughs> oh, well, let's get on with it. If you cut that shell in half, it'll be ruined, ruined! I'll never find another one like it, and believe me, I've looked. If you don't mind my asking, why do you keep changing shells anyway? Oh, because hermit crabs can't grow their own shells, so we borrow the shells of other animals for protection. We move into one shell. Grow up, get bigger. And then move to a bigger shell. So what can we do, Tweak? Maybe I could just cut off the shell and then try to glue it back together. That's too risky. I think we need a new plan. Captain, we have one hermit crab who needs to get out of his shell and another who wants to get in. We have to safely remove the crab from its shell. There's only one thing to do, Peso. We have to perform a crabectomy. Captain, I've never performed a crabectomy before. Even when I was in medical school. Just watch out for those pinchy claws. I'll talk you through the whole operation. I had to perform an emergency crabectomy once in my polar bear cub days. Righto. And I promise we won't damage that shell. Aye, aye, Captain. Step one, steady the shell. Step two, fasten the hose. Step three, prepare landing pad. Ready, Tweak? I really hope this works. Me too. <clears throat> Captain, we're ready for the crabectomy. All right, Peso. This should take five big pumps of air to push him out. You'll have to really put some muscle into it. Flippers in place, Captain. All right. On my count. Five. <laughs> Four. <laughs> three. <laughs> oh, two. <laughs> one. <laughs> We did it! Well done, Octonauts. And especially you, Peso. Your first crabectomy. Thanks, Captain. How are things in the rock pool? It looks like the tide's coming in. Octonauts, we're going home. Yay! Where did he go? It's perfect. Uh -huh. Thanks for the new shell. See ya. Oh, so now he's got my old shell. What about me? No shell, no protection, no nothing. I'm naked. What am I going to do? It's the Gup A. They're back. Hey, so! Ta da! Oh, how's this? Oh, oh, lovely. Home sweet home. I think that should last you a while. <laughs> if you need someone to decorate your new home, we do know a decorator crab. <laughs> Everyone keep a lookout. Captain, it looks like they're heading our way. We should be able to see them out of the window any minute now. 
Dashi, sound the Octo alert. Octonauts to the HQ. Octonauts, the eels are on the move. They should be here any minute. This only happens one time each year, so we don't want to miss it. <gasps> there they are! Eels! <gasps> lots and lots of them. Let me get a picture. Yeah, they're in a big hurry to get somewhere, but where? They're on their way from the ocean up the river to the lake. It's a dangerous journey. No one knows exactly how they do it. Octonauts, our mission is to follow these eels and find out. Shellington. Thank you, Captain. Every year, a group of young eels travels from the ocean where they were born up the river to this lake where they will live. That looks easy enough. Ah, but there are all kinds of dangers along the way, Quasi. Rocks, rough bumpy water, sudden twists and turns in the river. I'd like to try that trip myself. And that's why you'll be driving the Guppe with me on this mission. Aye, aye, Captain. Quasi, Peso, Shellington, to the launch bay. Come on, mateys. Those slippery eels have a head start, and we've got to catch up. Open the octo hatch, Tweak. You've got it, Cap. We've already made it into the river. We should catch up with the eels in no time, Captain. I hope things don't get too bumpy for us or for them. Yeah. Where be those eels? Ah, there they are. Let's go. No one's ever followed the eels moving up the river this closely before. We're going upstream, and the water keeps pushing us back. Quasi, I'm going to need your help. Aye, aye, Captain. Yow! Steer with me. One, two, three. <sighs> Thanks, Quasi. Now let's catch up with those slippery little fellas. Eels are swimming fast. Aye, well we can go as fast as they can. We're gaining on them, Captain. Wow, getting past these rocks is no problem for these eels. Amazing. Anywhere they can go, we can go too. to Barnacles. Are you all right? We're all right, Dashy. We're just going for a little spin. Oh, no. I hope they're not hurt. Barnacles to the octopod. We're all OK. But the guppe has, um, well, crashed. But how will you keep going? There's no reason we can't swim after him, Captain. Good idea. Let's go. Barnacle's out. Now, where be those eels? There they are. They really are good climbers. Let's find out what's on the other side of those rocks. Jumping jellyfish. The eels are getting out of the water and travelling on land. Let's investigate. Look at them wriggle right over the mud and dirt. That's fascinating. Eels can breathe air for a short time, so they can leave the water and go over land if they have to. Nothing stops them on their way up the river. Nothing. Oh. Help. Help. Did somebody say something? Help. Where are you? Down here. Hello there. Are you stuck? Yes, and I really need to get out. Hmm. 
Can you grab onto this, matey? Yes, go on. Pull me up and please hurry. <sighs> did you fall into that hole, little eel? Yes, yes I did. If there's a hole in the ground, I'll be the one eel who falls into it. So, thanks very much for getting me out, but I really have to be on my way. Uh, oh, ow, ouch! Oh, my tail hurts. <laughs> I can't move. Don't worry. Don't worry? My friends are getting farther and farther away, and now my tail's hurt. I can't even wiggle. I'll never catch up to my friends like this. We can help you. Really? Of course. We are the Octonauts. What seems to be the trouble? It's me tail. It hurts so much I can't move. <sighs> you need a bandage. That was fast. It feels better already. Thanks. You're welcome. And now I've really got to get going. You need to rest for a while. Oh, I can't rest. Must keep moving. Got to catch up to me friends. Captain, he's not strong enough to make a long swim up the river. I'm afraid he'll never make it to the lake on his own. We'll make sure he's not left behind. Oh, I may need a little help getting back in the water. We'll give you more than a little help. Aye, we'll take you all the way to the lake. Oh, thanks. It won't be easy, but we'll swim up the river just like the eels and make sure our friend gets to the lake safe and sound. Aye, aye, Ready, Captain. let's go. Oh, and one more thing. We'll need the smallest life belt we've got. Octonauts, let's do this. <sighs> that water's too rough to swim over, and those rocks are too high. This will take some teamwork. Think you can get this to the top, Quasi? No problem, Captain. <sighs> Let's go. A cave. We're going through. We're really, really close now. All we have to do is swim through that. Yeah! We have to swim through that. But we're almost there, I promise. The lake is just on the other side. I really have to get there. We're going in. Follow me. Okay? Just fine. The lake is so calm and beautiful. Hi, and full of squirmy eels. Where were you? We lost you. We were worried. These are my friends. Oh, thanks for getting me here. Well, you young eels certainly work hard to get where you're going. I admire your determination. It's what we do. And when we're old enough, we'll head back down the river to the ocean and have baby eels of our own. And when those babies are old enough, they'll make their journey up the river. Aye, and we'll get to have this adventure all over again. Crashing the duck, going through tunnels, swimming through rapids and over rocks. Right, Peso? If you say so. Oh, <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> Fascinating. This kind of coral only grows in the water close to the beach. What a nice colour and... Ow! Shock! Sorry, dude. 
It's a lemon shark. That was so totally my fault. Really sorry. Bye. Ouch! Oh, I hit my nose again. Let me see that. My name's Peso. I'm a medic. I help any sea creature who's hurt, no matter what. I'm Lemmy. I could use some help. <sighs> Your nose is pretty bruised. Do you live around here? Yeah, think so. Maybe. Uh, actually, I don't know. I'm kind of lost. I've been looking everywhere for my lagoon. It's a beautiful place with shallow water near the beach. Is that where you live? Yeah, all of us lemon sharks hang out there. I've never had any problem finding my way home before. I just don't know why I keep getting lost. Lemmy, like all sharks, uses his nose to find his way around. He has special sensors that help him know which way to go. The sensors on your nose are hurt, so it isn't working right now. And that's why I keep getting lost. My nose doesn't know where to go. But how do I fix it? Our ship, the Octopod, has a sick bay. I could put some medicine on your nose there, bandage it up, and make it as good as new. Dude, you're the best. Let's go! Right this way. Don't worry, Lemmy. Once your nose is all better, you won't bump into things anymore. <coughs> Thanks. OK, Lemmy. First, you need a little medicine on your nose. <laughs> that tickles. Second, you need a bandage. Whoa, thanks. So, is that it? Can I go home now? You need to wait a little while for your nose to heal. If you go right now, you'll still get lost and bump into things. Oh, OK. But do I have to wait in here? I like it better outside. Only if you stay right outside the octopod. I'll hang out right here. And I'll be back to check on you later. Cool! Captain. I've bandaged up Lemmy's nose. As soon as it's better, he'll be able to find his way around again. Good work, Peso. Now, show me how you bandage a nose. Oh, I'm bored. There's not much to do out here. Wouldn't hurt just to leave for a minute, and then I'll totally come right back. <laughs> hmm. I think I'll check on Lemmy. Oh, no. Where did he go? He's swimming away in a crazy zigzag pattern, really fast. Flappity flippers. He can't tell where he's going. Captain, he could get hurt. Peso, sound the Octo Alert. Octonauts, to the launch bay. Octonauts, there's a young lemon shark out there whose nose isn't working. He could get lost or hurt if we don't catch up with him right away. Peso, Quasi, into the guppe. Right home. Aye, aye, Cap. Ah, there he is. He's a fast one, that's for sure. Heading that way. No! Oops! Sorry! No! Watch out! <laughs> Where's that speedy lemon shark going now? Uh-oh, he's swimming towards the beach. Ah, oh, there's Lemmy now! Oh, no. He's stuck on the beach. He needs to be in the water to breathe. Help! Someone help me! Hang on, <laughs> Lemmy. We're coming to save you. I swam too close to the beach. Octonauts, let's do this. One, two, three, lift! <laughs> yeah, all this little fella's heavy. <laughs> I'm sorry. I should have listened to you, Peso. 
At least you're all right. That's what matters. I'll stay at the Octopod. Tell me nose is all better. Then let's all head back to the Octopod. And please stay close to the Gup. Hope you've been comfortable in the launch bay, Lenny. Yes, thanks. And my nose is feeling much better. That's great news. I think today we can remove your bandages. And I can go home. Right, Peso? That's right. I'm going to miss you, Lenny. Oh, me too. Maybe you can visit the lagoon sometime and meet my friends. Shellington to Peso. Come in, Peso. Peso here, Shellington. There's a hurt sea star inside an underwater cave. We need your help right away. Yeah. I'll be right there. I'll have the guppy ready in a jiffy. I'll wait to go home till you get back, Peso. I'd like you to come with me and meet my friends. I'll be back as soon as I help this sea star. Over here, Peso! Good as new. Watch out for that hot steam! There must be lava under these rocks! No. Shellington! I'm trapped! Octopod, please come in! It's Shellington! Barnacle's here. What's up, Shellington? Peso is trapped in this cave! Please send help! Help is on the way, Shellington. <laughs> Open the octo hatch, Tweak! You got it, Cap! Hi, matey. But well, don't you worry. We're off to rescue him now. Peso helped save me. Now I've got to help save him. <laughs> My lemon shark nose is working again. My nose knows where to go. Uh-oh, Quasi. This isn't just a cave. It's a cave with hot lava under the rocks. Ouch! That means this cave could fill up with hot bubbles and steam any second. We've got to get Peso and the hurt starfish out of there now. Octonauts! In here! <gasps> Captain! Over here! Peso, don't move! Yeah. How do we get him out? We need to be fast enough to get past those hot bubbles. Peso! Lemmy! Captain, I've got to help Peso. Lemon sharks are one of the fastest sharks in the sea. And I know I'm fast enough to get past those hot bubbles. You're right there, matey. You're faster than any of us. What about your sense of direction? My nose is all better. Trust me. All right, Lemmy. Go in to the left. Now to the right. Now wait! Go! Yeah. Oh, that was exciting! Good work, Lemmy. You're as brave as any Octonaut. Absolutely. Thanks for saving me and the Sea Star. Yeah, thanks. <laughs> We're friends, Peso! Peso, it's time to take Lemmy home to his lagoon. Follow me! My nose knows where to go! Well, here's my lagoon! Goodbye, Lemmy. Here's a sticker for being my bravest patient ever. Oh, thanks, Peso! Put it right on my nose, dude! <laughs> I can't wait to see how my biggest patient is doing. Ah, I can't wait to see if your patient's really as big as you say, Peso. Here we are. 
the coral reef. Where's your patient? Captain, I don't see anything big. It's right here, Quasi. My patient is the coral reef. What? Of course. Coral reefs are made of coral, which is alive. The coral reef needs a checkup just like any other creature. That's true. The coral reef is home to lots of different animals. So if anything happened to the coral, they'd have nowhere to live. Aye, that is a big patient. Hmm. Hmm. That's not good. What's wrong, Peso? This coral is turning white, Shellington, which means it's getting sick. There's another white spot over here. Peso, you'd better take a look at this. Oh, no. The entire coral reef is getting sick. If anything happens to it, all these creatures will have to find a new home. There's only one thing to do. Quasi, Shellington, I need you to find me a small piece of healthy coral on the seafloor. Aye, aye, Peso. Let's go. Captain, I'll need to borrow your hydro drill. What are you planning, Peso? An emergency coral transplant. I drill a tiny hole into the sick coral. Here you go, a piece of coral. Perfect. Now I'll put this piece of healthy coral into the hole and... There, that's a coral transplant. The piece of healthy coral will help make the sick coral better. Look! Great! We've saved a coral reef and just in time for lunch. I don't think so, Quasi. Look at all those white spots. I'm going to have to do a lot more coral transplants to make this reef healthy again. And we're going to help you. Let's sound the Octo Alert. Octonauts to the HQ. <laughs> Octonauts, the coral reef is sick. Our mission is to help Peso do as many coral transplants as it takes to make it healthy again. But the coral reef is huge. What's the plan? Dashi, you, Quasi and Tunip will search for healthy pieces of coral on the sea floor. Shellington and Professor Inkling will sort through them to find the healthiest ones. Then Tweak and I will drill tiny holes in the reef and Peso will put the coral pieces into the holes. Now. Everybody got it? Got, got it. it! Octonauts, let's do this. If we all work together, the reef will be healthy again in no time. <laughs> Aha! Another piece of coral. Ah, just a sea sponge. <laughs> oh, spiky sea urchin! <sighs> Sorry, little urchin. These coral pieces are harder to find than I thought. What was that? <laughs> huh? Hm. Someone's playing a trick on me. <laughs> huh? Shiver me, whiskers! <laughs> <laughs> you should have seen the look on your face. <laughs> Dolphins, what's the big idea? Playing tricks on me while I'm... Oh, we were just playing around. What are you doing here anyway? Want to play with us? We're blowing bubble rings. Yeah, I'm too busy to play right now. Well, suit yourself. <laughs> yeah, yeah, very funny. There's a pirate here trying to work. Thank you, Dashi. Have a look at this one, Shellington. Ah, this one looks very healthy. I'll put it with the other red ones. Ah! Ah! Jumping jellyfish. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Tag, you're it. <laughs> oh, my. There you go, Peso. Thanks, Tweak. Steady, steady. What you do? Lappity flippers. Cool. You want to play catch? That's one of our favourite games. Here, catch. Whoa, careful with that. 
Sorry, dolphins, but we've got work to do. Maybe some other time. Oh, there's got to be someone who wants to play with us. Come on. We've been working for hours and we still have so much more to do. At the speed we're going, it could take days to finish. And these dolphins aren't making things any easier. Barnacles to Shellington. These dolphins won't leave us alone. Why are they acting like this? It's normal dolphin behavior, Captain. Dolphins are curious creatures. They What's this? They love to play with each other and make up new games. <laughs> hey, everybody, check this out. <laughs> I've got a sponge on my nose. <laughs> sponge nose, sponge nose. Sponge nose, sponge nose. <laughs> <laughs> There. Oh. Ah. Oh, this is starting to get out of hand. Attention, dolphins. We have very important work to do. If you could please just play. <laughs> Bet you can't catch me. Oh, enough is enough. Huh? Ah. Oh. Whoa. Uh, easy now. I just want to... Um... See how long you can hold on. <laughs> Look out! Whale sharks! Straight ahead! <laughs> nice catch! Thanks. Are you okay? Yep. Thanks for the warning back there. So, what should we play now? Sorry, but playtime is over. We octonauts are trying to save the coral reef. I need to get back there. What's wrong with the reef? It's very sick and we're trying to help it. We find pieces of healthy coral and put them into tiny holes in the reef. Oh, so that's what you guys were doing. Find the coral, put it in the hole. Hey, that kind of sounds like a game. Can I play a help too? Hmm. Well, we do need all the help we can get, but, um, what could you do? Find the coral, put it in the holes. Find the coral. Hey, I found a piece! Ah, that sea sponge on your nose is a pretty good tool for finding coral in the sand. Found another one! Do you think you could show the other dolphins how to do that? Of course. Grab on, I'll give you a ride back to the reef. Let's go! Ready, everybody? Ready! Ready. With all of us helping out, we'll be finished in no time. Find the coral, put it in the holes. Find the coral, put it in the holes. I reckon I can find five pieces of coral before you find one. You're on, matey! Mm. Another healthy one. Thank you. Ah, that's the last one. Here you go. Thanks. There. We're finished. The reef is starting to look healthier already. Hooray! Great work, everybody. Dolphins, we never could have done it without your help. There's just one more thing. What is it? Tag, you're in! <laughs> <laughs> I'm Captain Barnacles. Aye, matey. Come on, everyone join in. Right, let's go!